right. I think I'm on. Wait, no, I'm not. Wait, yes, I am. I am on. So watch the cursing. All right, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm going to wait around a little bit to get more folks in here to chat with. Let me clean up this stuff. This is from the video I just did. Lots of four maxes out and about here. Let me pull this away. I might leave that one out just so we can check it out. Can't get to my drawers. Hey, James. Hey, Pete. Therapeutic Edge. Dave. David. Zach and Ross. Awesome. Good to see you guys, everybody. We'll leave a couple of these out to look at. Hey, John. Appreciate you joining the Facebook group there. That's awesome. Jeremy and Tim. Excellent. Definitely a Formax Friday thing going on here. None of Formaxes. I'm with you on that. I think I need more. But not just yet. They, I'm not going to stop. I can't stop the addiction. I don't think there's a Betty Ford for Formax. Betty Formax. All right. Let's go. Have a look see there. Look see there. I got a. You know, I got to do something with this one. I know I need to beat it up. I know that's the the way this channel works, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if I want to beat it up yet. <laughs> hey, Monster, good to see you. Williams Knife Life, excellent. Oh, let's see. Cameron, good to see you. AMS. Yeah, I'm, of course I've been carrying this one. I carry this one all the time. And you know I haven't carried this one because there's no lanyard. There's no lanyard to uh, fill up that hole yet. But I'm sure it's in the cards. I'll either get one more to carry and hold on to this one or I'll just beat the mess out of this one. But I have some meat I need to chop into. It's not brisket. 12, 12 maxes. <laughs> So I have some, I think I have a pork butt in there. I'm going to smoke tomorrow. Sometimes I get not tired of brisket, but I just want something else. To change something up there. Hey, you know what I was talking about? Smoke. Right before, <laughs> right before I got on here, I was smoking. I didn't smoke anything illegal, but I was burning pistachio shells. Y'all ever do that? It smells good. It smells like somebody's smoking a, something inside your house. Some meat or something. Of course, I'm going to find out later, pistachio smoke is probably the main ingredient in some horrible mustard gas. I'm going to die from pistachio lung, but it smells good. Now, don't go out there and do this, children, until you look it up. Go Google pistachio lung. If it's a real thing, first tell me, and then don't do the pistachios. It's toxic for Jersey. <laughs> I'm done for. I'm done in. AD20 or Recon would be more to my liking. It might be. Yeah, there's a lot of people that like like the AD20. A lot of lo a lot of people love the AD15 more than anything. So it's all about what you like. It's no big deal. As long as it's a Formax, or I mean, as long as it's a Cold Steel or a Demco, you're you're right. The answer is correct. All right. Let's see. It might be carcinogenic. Damn, damn it. Now I'm in trouble. Bleach and dish soap make mustard gas. Is that true? That seems like a dangerous combination to have near the kitchen. Formax Scout came in today and I'm sure in love with this one. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, this thing is awesome. And if anything, that last video I just did showed you. This is, it's that, this is not a bad substitute for those that, you know, don't want to drop three, four hundred bucks on a knife. Where's all the Spartans? Oh, let me see. I don't know if I can get to a Spartan right now. Let's see here. Is that a Spartan? No, that's not a Spartan. Let's see. <laughs> Is that a Spartan? No, not a Spartan. Damn, damn it. I don't know where my Spartans are. I think we're stuck. I think we're stuck with those. Is, is that a Spartan? It is not. <laughs> 
No, you should not be eating Hershey's chocolates. Oh, but it, <laughs> it tastes so good. All right. Let me catch on. Uh, Ajax and his all pool shot tablets definitely make very nice food. Little sponge mom. Dad, come. I'm learning all this great chemical stuff here. Hey, thank you, Lone Wolf. Appreciate that. Kind words. All right. An eye on the spot, a large in G10. It's a great knife. Awesome knife. CH9 hot today. Not bad. Cool. I like the CH stuff. I want, I want another one of those CH skull knives. I had one early on. I ended up selling it. 134A refrigerant going across an open flame makes a gas cylinder mustard gas. Dang. All right. That all sounds terrible. I should probably stop burning pistachios. All right. Let me clear up some of this stuff. Couldn't find the Spartan. Sorry about that. Definitely have a bunch of cold steels hanging around, though. I don't know why I don't have a lanyard on this one. Did I do something with this? Take it off? This thing's awesome. You want something useful and crazy looking and fun and de definitely guaranteed to scare some people. Oh! <laughs> I have a true story about scaring some people. All right. So, I had to take my dad to the hospital for some testing yesterday. And... It wasn't bad testing. It was actually kind of a cool thing that he was able to close off this whole section of his health as far as worrying about it. So it was his final test he had to do. But they had to put him, you know, put him under and do all this stuff. So I was taking my mom down there. And, of course, because of COVID, we couldn't go in there with him. So me and mom found a spot down near the Whataburger. And <laughs> so I'm sitting there. I'm in the front seat talking I'm in the front seat. I'm talking to my mom sitting there at the, the Whataburger parking lot. And I had taken my Espada XL, the G10 one, with me. So I was sitting there, and, you know, mom, she's into knives. So I said, <laughs> I said, hey, look what I'm carrying today, mom. And I pulled it out and just went right there. And she was sitting in the back like I was chauffeuring her. And I was just kind of waving it around. And I wasn't paying attention, but there was another, there was a lady and her husband parked next to me, and they couldn't get out of that parking space fast enough. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I had scared some people off yesterday with my spot of XL. I'm surprised they didn't call the police or something, but I'll have to think about that next time. I was inside my own vehicle. It was like I was running around the ball pit at McDonald's. <clears throat> so... Does the stream give me problems? I've been having problems with YouTube all night, staying just on regular videos. It's been kicking me down to 240p. So, I apologize. Let me see here. Keeps dropping out. All right, everybody's dead coming. I told all my, my spot or my, my spot story. All right. Hey, Becky, good to see you. Yeah, I did. I whipped out the sword and scared him off. Hey, Bad Monkey, I always appreciate you dropping in when you can. All right, Dion, good to see you. I don't know if I got back to you, Dion, on that thing, but I'll, if I didn't, I'll email you back tonight. I, I emailed a ton of people today. All right. All right, so let me put these away, and we can start looking at... Wait, did I have something to tell you guys? Oh, you know what? I think right around like today or the next couple of days makes four years that PIF has been going on. So PIF has been going on four years this February. It was February 2017 that PIF started. So I'm going to do a video this week on... I think we're going to open up PIF for the year, and we'll get that first list going. It's just going to be a quick opening and closing, but that's four years and just about 2,000 boxes we've sent out just, just for PIF. That doesn't count giveaways. doesn't count anything else. Just straight PIF, and most of that is you guys donating. That being said, this is my Sally Struthers for the day. 
for the price of a co <laughs> cup of coffee because Pithmas deleted deleted our coffers as far as knives and everything just about so if you're thinking hey you know i should wait around for piff miss no don't wait around for piff miss because i'm fixing to kick in piff you know the yearly piff stuff and once that kicks in we're going to need more knives and, and different stuff and, and you know piff miss is coming piff miss crawls right up really really fast you know we start opening up the the lines for piff miss in august now and august and early september so shoot that's what five months away six months away so whatever y'all can start sending in and you know that would be awesome and it's all kind of stuff knives you know edc stuff band-aids lollipops 550 cord whatever you think of so let's see here mm -hmm. check email for tracking okay cool thank you ian question i go for the drop for survivalist or could we... yeah I, no actually ian i saw that i was wondering what that was but no i saw the i saw the tracking information that's you're in florida right i think that's where it was coming from right serious question i go for drop for survivalist or kaboom oh drop for survivalist that thing's awesome that's what you want i sent my info there confirmation you got i don't you know people are sending me hundreds of emails when i open up pip i don't confirm that i got your email so i that's just i just can't sit there and, and confirm all those emails so if i got it i got it and if not just send it again if that's all i can do sometimes working on a box awesome this stream is about some stuff that came in this week and it's about piff and it's about oh i got announced the giveaway the winner for the giveaway this week and let's see what else we gotta do and it, maybe we'll run a coupon game at the end here <clears throat> all right see dimco is making the 80 20 with grivery handles i did i saw that that's pretty exciting you know, he's going to kick 100 bucks off or 75 bucks off those knives to put Grivery on them. That's pretty freaking awesome. What's the difference between Recon 1 XL and Voyager XL? Uh, Voyager is a little bit like grippier, like a little bit thicker. And then the Recon XL is a little bit thinner. It's going to be more like the, the Espada, kind of gripping onto the Espada. And you got the G10 on the the recon and of course you got this grivix on the explorer then the explorer blades like are a little thinner i think as far as well not really if you get the the drop point one or the whatever it is on the explorer but it's you know it's not going to matter when you're stabbing into something or it's really not a big deal <clears throat> I know the day that the Tower and Holdout are dropping. Me too. No, I don't. I just didn't want to feel bad in my own channel not knowing something. Have you seen an increase in numbers since last week? Yes. You know, ever since I did the giveaway thing, which is only a couple nights ago, if we keep going this way, we're going to blow through all the projected desired. If we keep getting subs as fast as we're getting them right now, I should blow through it. I'm going to owe you guys a lot of prizes. So that would be awesome. All right, leftover Mexican food is awesome. I love Mexico, Mexican food. Let's see. All right, I'm missing a lot of stuff here. I'm picking up weird things, like parts of conversations. Okay. Oh, Jonathan, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm doing a couple kitchen knife reviews this week, so I'm actually bringing my dad in for one. It'll be the first video he's ever done with me. XL Cuda. Yeah, that would be cool, too. All right. The company seems to email is a friendly company. Great customer service. Fast shipping. Oh, nice. You got one. Fantastic. Yeah, that that's one thing. The company I got this from, their little mom and pop store kind of thing, 
I think they're just now expanding into knives and holy heck, they just did an amazing job getting this to me. So follow the information on that video that I just did. And if you got any any desire to get something from the new Cold Steel collection, that's the guy to talk to right now. <clears throat> No, dad is not funny as my mom. My dad's kind of, well, he was scary all my life. <laughs> he's, you know, he's not really a funny guy. He's just kind of serious and just dad, you know, he's big and scary. Did I ever tell you my dad's story? How he got stuck in the ditch? Did I ever tell you that story? Is it on it? It's a true story, but I don't know what I tell you guys. Sometimes I tell my stories to myself, I tell my children's stories. <clears throat> but uh, let's see here. Nothing. On, there's nothing on their website right now. No. I kind of have some inflections like him, Dion. So sometimes I'll say stuff and I'll hear my dad in my voice. So we sound kind of similar. And he look. He looks like me 20 years from now, and six inches taller. <laughs> All right, here's my dad's story real quick. This is my dad was super freaky strong all my life. And I'm, you know, I've gotten strong and I've been strong, pretty strong, doing powerlifting and whatnot since I was a kid. But never, never strong like my dad is as strong as he was. So one time I was about six years old and we were stuck in a ditch. The, the front end of our car went into this ditch. So we were sitting here and it went like this in this small ditch. And it wasn't a little car. It wasn't like a Volkswagen bug or anything. It was a old, like, 1970 Dodge Polaris. It was my grandpa's car. This is the honest God truth. And I have I have written confirmation. It's hard. He picked the front end of the car up and picked it up and moved it just enough to where it was out of the ditch. That's the honest God truth. Just the freaky strongest thing I ever heard of anybody doing. Especially for somebody that was just a, he wasn't a normal guy. He was just a, he was a beast. He was just so strong. So it wasn't like he was just a normal human being, but that was the freaky, the freaky strength. And he, another time, this always got truth. I was in my, I would just graduate high school. My, me and my buddy were going down the street and the idiot that my buddy was, he was combing his hair while he's driving down the street and just drove straight into the ditch that was at the end of the street. So his S10 pickup truck was like this into the ditch. So just like that. And we were just down the street. And so he's all freaking out. And we probably had like a buck 50 between us. <laughs> so we ran down the street and here comes my dad in his jog pants and his wife beater t-shirt. And he did it again. He lifted the front of that truck up so he could catch those back tires and, and reverse. That's a true story. So, yeah, he was a beast, and he's, you know, he still scares me. <laughs> so, that's my dad's story. So, when you see him next time, if he, gets, if he decides to come and do a video, that's who, that's why my voice is quivering, and I'm not saying anything smartly or showing him a <laughs> booty knife. <laughs> oh, dad would kill me. He would just grab something and bash me in the head with it if I showed a booty knife. Okay, I got to get these out of the way because I got a bunch of stuff to look at here. Somebody actually sent in, I think this is maybe the first piss box of the year. I'm not entirely certain, but I think it is. <clears throat> oh, yeah, my dad was, he scared me, but he was a good dad. You know, he was the, the gruff dude, but he was always there for a hug and, you know. Just, just scary iron worker kind of dude, but he's a good dad. All right, so somebody sent in a box. If this is your box, let me see. I don't know. Is uh, somebody from Seattle in here that sent in a box? No? Anybody? Okay, if you're from Seattle and you sent in a box then it is you 
but I'm not going to tell anybody because I don't know if you want to be known. But I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of here. I haven't really looked into the box. I wanted to open it with you guys. I opened it, but I didn't look into it. So let's check this out. What is this? All right. We got Ridge Runner. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, look at that. Like a whole collection of knives. Well, that's kind of cool. Look at that. That's sharp as freak, too. Awesome. Very cool. Now, let me put that back in there. Very cool knives. That's awesome. This is perfect for Piff. Great Piff stuff. What I might do is break that up, though. I might break that up and and uh, make several knives out of that. Several boxes. Three different boxes. That's great, though. Appreciate that. All right. Keep going here. That's empty. I don't know what that was. Maybe it fell out. Let's check this out. All right, here we go. A little bitty knife. There you go, a little clippy knife. What is this? This is the Jettison. A little small knife there. All right, my dad passed away before I could thank you for being so scary. That's sad, Tom, yeah. No, nah, definitely. I get to see my dad a lot, so I'm very lucky that way. All right, so Jettison, very cool. Excellent Piff stuff here. This, if you guys don't know what to do for Piff, this is some excellent ideas right here. Check this one out. Dang, that's locked up and snappy. Krieger, it's a Krieger quality blade. That's assisted, but that thing is sharp as freak. That is really, really sharp and very cool. Awesome. All right, very cool. All right, dun, dun, dun. let's keep going here. Yeah, I'm very. Oh, yeah, this guy knows the channel. Yeah, a little Lynn Thompson DVD. I might rip this open and test that out here in a second. That's very cool. That's perfect. That's a perfect idea of, of what you send in. Just stuff like that is awesome. Let's, do, do. Let's keep going here. I'm trying to keep up with chat a little bit. All right, what we got here? Ozark Trail. Ozark Trail is always perfect. And these are just immensely awesome for Piff. This is just exactly what you're looking for. Something Ozark Trail is fantastic. So that's very cool. Do, do, do. Okay, let's keep going here. See more Ozark Trail stuff. Makes great Piff knife. This is awesome. So this will really kick off our Piff stuff for the year. I'll be able to put out some Piff boxes very soon. There you go. Here's another knife. Another Ozark Trail blade. There you go. Very cool. All right. Let's see what else we got here. What is this? Is this a wallet? A little wallet, I guess. Yeah, it's a little little, little doodad thing for your doodads and your pens, maybe. Kind of cool. All right. Some Hanks. There's a Hank from Shadowborn Hanks. That's pretty cool. That's a great, super great pith thing. Let's keep going here. Oh, ow, ow. Ow, 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 This is not a good knife. Ow, ow. Okay. It doesn't want to be flipped open. It wants to be open. I'm so stupid. I did that like five times in a row. <laughs> so, I think this is another Ozark Trail. It's very, very uh, stiff and locked up. Don't don't make the mistake I just made. I think I'm gonna... the power of your thumb will compel it. The power of my thumb compels you. Stuff like this, anything with 550 and keychains and lanyards is fantastic. This is fantastic stuff. PIF stands for paid for, yes. Oh, the guppy. This was one of the first things I ever bought, like recently. 
you know, like six or seven years ago, when I started getting back into knives a little bit, I bought a guppy. I'm sure mine's around here somewhere. So this thing is awesome. This is really, really, really cool. So, Mr. S you from Seattle, I can't tell you who it is because he's not here to give me permission. I really appreciate this is a great box. Great and great ideas for you guys that are maybe wondering what to send in for Piff. Everything here is fantastic. Everything here is exactly what we need and what we're looking for. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going here. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Yes, thank you, person from Seattle. I wish I could have said his name because I wanted to say it really cool like. Maybe he'll let us know next time and I can say it in that cool voice I wanted to use. Did we already look at that? I think I already looked at that knife. Did I already look at that knife? Man, I don't remember. Yeah, I already reviewed that knife. Did I already review this knife? <laughs> I reviewed this knife, right? I reviewed this QB. Did y'all see that? Yeah. Because that's the one that has the orange version out there. Okay. There's been a lot of videos this week. A lot of videos going through my brain. I got to find... Kubi sent me another knife, and I want to show you guys. Is this it? That's not it. That's a different Kubi. This is a great Kubi, by the way. I think there's a CH version of that or something. That was very cool. All right, give me two seconds. I got to find this knife. Or maybe I don't. <clears throat> oh, so, yeah. Um, I'm thinking about doing something... For the giveaway that I'm doing for my sub rush giveaway. Dang, God, never mind. I can't find it now. I thought it had it laid out here. Alright, well, forget you and that knife. It's not gonna happen, sir. Alright, keep going. You're killing the show. Alright, but there's something else I want to show you. Where'd that go? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at this. See, I was going to give this to my dad for his birthday. Check that out. El Chapo. I was going to give El Chapo to him, but I think what I'm going to end up doing, <clears throat> excuse me, is giving it, <clears throat> what in the world happened to my voice? I need some water. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me give him that Dow Strong from last week. I think he'd rather have that monster kitchen knife, El Chapo. Now I can have two El Chapos when I mow into my brisket. And they're like some kind of weird hatchet bearing superhero. Brisket dude. But anyways, yeah, this thing is awesome. Seriously, guys, if you're looking at something to help you in the kitchen like that, this thing is the my go-to chopper. And I have all kinds of cleavers in there. This is the one I keep using over and over and over again. Just awesome. I have a global cleaver. I have a Dow Strong cleaver. I have Dexter. And I have all those. This is the one I keep getting. So, All right. Kubi knives are amazingly sharp. El Chapo. Yeah. It'll El Chapo right through a lot of things. Right through your bones. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, women carry knives. Hey, Christine. Good to see you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It's in, in chop with two chop two choppers isn't just like a comedic thing either. It really is helpful. The worst thing for chop doing brisket is chopping it for me. It's just like this mind numbing experience of having to do all the little pieces. Yeah. Opted for the FMS XL. I don't know what that is. Something's going off. All right. Where's Tom Cruise when I need him? I'm doing all this noise just so I can look for the stupid knife that I, I forgot about and I can't find. So, Alright. You guys with knife channels, do y'all ever buy knives and like, I'm going to give that away on my channel and then you're like, no. No, I'm not. I'm going to keep that for myself and buy a different knife to give away on the channel. I've done that. I've done that this week. 
So I gotta buy a different knife to do away. It's to ease my conscience. My conscience. Conscience? Yeah, that's the word. I need more sleep. No energy drinks is really, really messing with me. All right. So we're done with the Cubies. I showed you El Chapo. There, alrighty. What else do I got? What else do we got? My mom was a woman that carried knife. All right, yeah, just like mine. My mom had a switchblade on her today. I'm pretty sure. 562 tie or a red horse Hellraiser. Oh, man. I would go with the Hellraiser because you have all kinds of knives that look like the 562 blade. Those are all, the Hellraiser is just so awesome and different. I that was one of the first knives I ever looked at, like the original Hellraiser, not the, not the production one, but the one that was like 700 bucks. That was my one of my original. I got to get knives until Demco dropped on my head, and then it was all over at that point. But yeah, <clears throat> all right, which is. All right, let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I'm trying to catch up here on the live stream. I think it's going to be impossible to catch up with everybody here. Amazingly sharp, yes. Latest formats. Thank you, Movo Texas. Appreciate that. Which Mission Impossible theme or James Bond thing? Which is more spy? Oh, James Bond, definitely. Especially with all those intro thingies and, you know. The uh, bullet shooting and stuff. Hey, Eugene, good to see you. Dun, dun, dun. All right, full tie. Nope. Sorry. That's not the correct answer. None of you saying tie is correct. So you'll all be kicked out of the live stream now. Okay, so we're going to give away. We'll do the giveaway real quick from this week's giveaway. Now, Nobody is responding to the giveaway. Nobody is. I think one person has responded to the weekly giveaway. So I, I haven't sent anything out. So nobody is. I don't know if everybody's forgotten about it or just not paying attention. But I'm going to announce the giveaway winner here. And then that's it. So I'm going to keep going. I mean, it's a weekly giveaway. I, I told everybody at the beginning, it was 52 weeks of giveaway and nobody's doing it. All right. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do the giveaway right now. I'm going to, I got it all loaded up. So I got, I went ahead and so it's going to be upgraded giveaway. And I went ahead and went to the one video this week. You got 300 likes. That was with a deal. Remember, if it gets 300 likes, I'm going to do an upgrade. So I just said, yeah, forget it. I'm not going to randomly draw. I'm going to go to that one. And that's the one we're going to do for right now. So what I've done is load it up into the YouTube random comment. And let's just click the uh, go to button. All right. <laughs> now, here's the deal. If you are in a non-United States country, we might have to figure out a different different thing as far as a giveaway if you can't receive different knives and it's gonna be a hassle like that but you'll definitely get something if you win but the winner is hobo cop which is pretty cool all right hobo cop he said not sure how but this will happen i think he's talking about the giveaway and reaching the sub goal so hobo cop you are the winner you have until uh, monday Monday to get in touch with me. Oh, and the people that have won, I sent out a bunch of boxes today. So if you're waiting on a giveaway win, you're probably going to get it this week sometime. I sent out a bunch of boxes today. The only ones I didn't send out were, there's a couple that were, one from Canada. And one I needed more information on. So I'm trying to get that. But everybody else should be getting their stuff pretty quick. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just taking all the, the winnings that didn't happen, and I'm probably going to roll it into PIF. 
That's all I'm gonna do. I'm I'm providing Piff on my own. I'm I'm uh, donating to Piff as we speak. I don't know if GSM ships through UK. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Tabs and rest himself for doing the same. I'm announcing, okay, here's the deal. I'm announcing the coupon winners on the community posts, and I'm announcing the weekly winners here on this, because this is where we do the drawing. So I'm not going to go searching for winners. So I'm going to announce the winners, and then I'm just going to let it go. They're winners, and I'm going to announce the coupon winners on the community posts, and then I'm going to announce, and that's the weekly coupon winners, not the ones that win here. Of course, they'll, win, they'll know automatically. And then I'm going to announce the weekly winners, the giveaway winners here. And then you have until that Monday to get in touch with me. It's just a matter of not having to search for people. It's a matter of I don't have time to sit there and chase everybody down. And with PIF coming up, I'm going to be even more even busier than I am now and just different things going on. So I'm trying like I best I can to give away free stuff, but I'm not going to chase you, chase folks down to, to take it off my hands because there's always piff. There's always piff. I can throw those knives in the piff boxes and make sure folks get it. All right. So I think that's it. What do y'all got coming in? What have y'all got excited about this week or that came in this week? Let's see here. Anything y'all got coming in or came in or excited about? If you're not prepared to put the rest of your life on a wire, don't you? That's true. I'm... I should dedicate more time to the channel. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, Eric. <laughs> An SE6. That's a good knife. Save it for 4 max. Awesome. Fine tested spider clock. I'm hooked. The only thing I want for my birthday is a pair of two. Cool. Frenzy 2 just right to write it. Oh, that's such a great knife. Tucson. I don't know the numbers on the Tucson, but I know Tucson's make good knives. Talking from a buddy of high school and making me custom kukri. That's awesome. Got a bag coming. Got some kubis coming. Awesome. Those are great blades. I have a kubi in. And it, I can't find it to show you guys. 8020 came in. That's a great knife. So that's a really good pickup. How do you win what? There's a couple ways to win. As far as the weekly winner, it's just a matter of commenting on one of the videos. So comment on as many videos as you can, and then I just choose one of the videos and choose a random a random winner. So we're doing that every week this year. Done it, I think, four or five times, and only one person's claimed their prize. Jimmy Slash Rap going on the tracks I see That would be cool. Just read around my Kershaw link. That's a cool skill to have. I wish I had that skill. I'd probably end up making a butter knife out of it. SRM 9054. A couple of traditionals. Cool. 93 Victorinox. I don't know what the Vero Isotope is. All right. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. Waiting on a workshop precision tool to come in. Very cool. Canadian knife belt. I love the Canadian, that Canadian uh, roach belly, or the Canadian belt knife, and I love the roach belly too. Those are good. The Vispas are awesome, and the Pro Light's awesome. David is ready for the inevitable outlaw of vaping because there was tobacco sentiment when you're driving up. Roach belly, sweet. Five max, yeah. I found this channel thanks to Bird and Frankie. Bird and Frankie, they're awesome. Hey, if y'all don't watch Birdshot, y'all are missing out. That's where most of what I came from came from. Was uh, watching them early on and deciding that it would be fun to do knife channel. CGRB, they have some good knives. I have a bunch of CGRB. 
They have some really cool knives. Oh, he's nice. It's probably these big tour knives. Nothing but bills coming in. Is that true? No, nothing but bills. All right. I'm going to have to send you some, Christine. We can't have that. That's a terrible, terrible way to feel. Now you have something besides bills coming in. But I think I need your address. When I was doing PIF, I erased jerky. <laughs> okay. I'll get you some jerky. I was going to make jerky this weekend anyways. I'll send you some jerky. But not for Pete. Just for you. <laughs> okay, I'll send you both some jerky. All right. I don't remember what I was saying. I was saying something second. Do you know the actual price of the new SOG Pentagon at the front for 350 I don't. I didn't. I don't know what the price is. I want any of the new Rough Rider Reserve. You need a, is it just hard to get somebody to send it to you? What if somebody, you had a proxy or something? I mean, that would be expensive, I know, but still it might work. All right, let's see. Jerky sexism triggered. I have my dad's in the house and we died, died so much. Oh, wow, that's sad. I have, not, I have, I made bacon jerky once, Robert. I haven't made pork, like straight up pork or turkey jerky, but I have made bacon jerky and it was delicious. It was super delicious. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. Son is active Navy. That's cool. Thank him for his service. That's awesome. The new Savivi stuff. I haven't checked out the new Savivi stuff. I'm, I always get behind on the new stuff. They get wrapped up in a lot of the Cold Steel stuff, and then I just get behind on anything else. Buffalo chicken jerky. That sounds really good. All right, turkey jerky. Deer jerky is awesome, yeah. I love deer jerky. Would you rather take Cold Steel Spartan or a 4 Max Scout for some heavy new camping duties? That's a close call there. That's a good... I think it would depend on the size of your hand. I think if, if I was doing a super lot of chopping with that Spartan, just because that little hook at the end would have a tendency to dig in, because I have chunkier hands than most people, would have a tendency to dig there, so I probably would go with the Scout. But if you have anything like medium hands, man, that, that kukri-shaped blade on that or is it a kukri what is the shape of that blade anyways that recurve for chopping and stuff would be awesome on the spartan it'd be hard to beat they make the, it's the spartan's os 10 right so yeah i think so <laughs> now i have to go buy jerky yeah i got about 10 pounds of meat to turn into some jerky here so hey cauldron thank you for being here appreciate it Honest opinion on Mike Tech out the front. Honestly, they're overrated. <laughs> I, I, I've had several of them, and I've sold them all. I'd much rather have a Guardian Tactical. That's an awesome knife. The Microtech, especially the 85. I've never had an 85 that opened and closed consistently. I would rather have a, an a, was the AKC F16 or the... Any of the AKCs just open and open and open and open, but that and it's only it's 440 steel, 440 C steel. So you're not, I mean, you're getting like the M390 and the great steel on a Microtech, but who is actually using? They're out the front so hard that they're gonna really push that steel. And I think 440 C on those AKCs, and you get that new one with that side button, and it's only like ninety nine dollars, and then you have another. 150 to spend on something else and you're going to get the same exact experience and the only thing you're not getting is that I have a Microtech bragging thing. It's kind of like the Formax and the Formax Scout. I mean, playing with all of them today, it just makes you realize 99.9% .9 of us are not going to do anything with that Formax Scout that we can't or with a Formax that we can't do with that Scout. 
just an awesome knife for $150 cheaper, $250 cheaper. So, yeah, I, I think I would rather have something else than, and I mean, some of the Microtechs are awesome. The the Combat Trodon's awesome, you know, but it just what you're paying for is a lot of that Microtech name. And I would rather have something else. I'd rather have the Guardian Tactical, which is awesome. Or if I'm really needing that, scratch that itch, something AKC, something like that would be awesome. No, I, yeah, Pete, I'm as much of a steel snob as the next person. But, you know, talking to people here in reality and trying to make people understand how to spend their money the best way. Seriously, if it was something, I was, I, I don't know. I just, I, the Formax Scout is, is such a great knife, especially if you get them in hand. It's like having the Formax Scout and $200 in your pocket is way better than having a Formax. And that's the truth of it. Now, I love the Formax. I'm not going to stop buying them, but I'm just telling you guys, if you're sitting there, Sweating about how you can get a four max, and you got a hundred dollars in your pocket. Just go get the scout, and it's gonna be, you know, the same, almost same exact experience. I prefer to look at Microtex, but GT is better in every other way, in my opinion. Yeah, Eric, right there, what you said. Do I get a Kaboon or medium lugs on with the survivors? Can't decide between them. Oh, medium lose on with the survivalist. There you go. I just made that decision for you. Yeah, I EDC the Formax all the time. I would rather have a Medford. See, some people want the Medfords. I would. I mean, for the money, I'd rather have a Formax. But that's, you know, the difference. That's what. If we all liked Formaxes, there would be one knife channel. And nobody would need to watch it because they all would all know that he liked Formaxes. So. So. <laughs> That's what makes it all fun. <clears throat> my Formax just goes on the G10 and scratch on the backspace. Yeah. Yeah, my Formax is all beat up. I've, I've, re I've actually resharpened my my uh, Gen 3 Formax here. So, yeah. Just got scratches on it. And like I said, I put it to use. And shoot. The, my Formax Scout. You, just as much with uh, Black Santa on there. <clears throat> yeah, all four maxes all the time. Vinegar based hot sauce versus vegetable based isn't close. Go vegetable based people. All right, what are we doing now? Where are we at? Where are we at time wise? Holy freak. Is that the right time? Oh, okay. No, we started then. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, we started at 9.30, not 9. I was like, man, I've been very entertaining myself. But no, I wasn't wasn't that entertaining. The only grip I have for my grip is the execution of the plunge grind. There's a cleaner execution of the Formax. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I've mangled these formats because I have no gripes with them on the blades. Just the clip is super, super strong and annoying, but I don't use clips that much. So this is, I've, this has been my favorite knife, folding knife since I started the channel. And first video I did was on that and it hasn't changed. I still love that thing. You know, people are just, you know, I could sit here and nitpick all the knives, but I'm not going to be that person. I'll let somebody else, you know, Apostle Peak and nitpick all he wants. <clears throat> trying to save my house. <laughs> Do you buy four maxes of bulk? No, but I, I have a few of them. Four max with carbon. I had one four max with carbon fiber scales. Isn't it better to bang for your bucket scout and light version of cold steel for the most part? Sure. Definitely. You get an SR1 light 
and you get a Formax Scout, and you just save four hundred dollars, and you have ninety nine point nine nine percent of the same knife your buddy has, but just drop all the other money. <clears throat> yeah, I just throw it in my pocket. Build a house of knives. Twenty something, twenty something people didn't like this really already. <laughs> I think somebody got their friends together. Was it surely Apostle P didn't hear what I said about him? Not yet, or maybe they did. Maybe he's got... I like Apostle P. So I just not, I'm just not somebody that's gonna go looking for the evil of every single knife. If I grab this knife and I love it, I'm gonna tell you I love it. I told you guys today I didn't like the clip, but I don't use clips. But <laughs> I don't know why twenty people would. Wouldn't like this video. I want to Cerakote one of my four matches like uh, what's his face did for sure. Oh, not just like just didn't like. Oh, I see. I thought 20 people had already hit. I was like, man, what did I say? Was it the booty knife reference? Sometimes that makes people angry. Yeah, Chris, seriously, grab a scout. Grab a scout, and you're just getting a lot of that. Cesar, that's it. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm, I apologize, man. I got so many people's knives in my brain. It, sometimes it's hard to pick out pick out the names. But, yeah, Cesar's got a Cerakoted. I'm, I didn't mean to call you much of face. So, Cesar's got a really cool Cerakoted formax which is awesome that's the one one of the problems with the formax is titanium it seems like it's a lower quality titanium it's very difficult to get any kind of color beyond purple on there formax 8010 or 8015 formax always and then go 8010 then go 8015 I need, and this will shock you to, to dye my Italian Formax black. No way. I, I think a, a, that gray Formax black would be better. I'm not crazy about the gray. I like the, the contour of it and the way it feels. But shoot, yeah, dye that thing black. That would be awesome. Do, do, do. All right, now we're going to do the coupon challenge. Y'all know the rules of the coupon challenge. All right, I have a whole thing of coupons here. This is the rules. You get one guess. So just guess one time. Not yet. Not until I say start. You get one guess. So just one time. You only get one guess. You don't get to go back and say, never mind. So think think wisely. One guess. And however it comes up, like if you and let's say the last two names I'm looking at, Ross and Becky, both guess closets. And the answer is closets. And Ross came first. If it's on my screen as Ross came first, that's who came first because sometimes it pops up differently on y'all screens. So my screen is me and Eric's screen. Mine and Eric's screen are the final say. And, <laughs> and you only get one guess. If you guess more than once, you're out. All right. Now, here's the deal. I found a box of knives I forgot I had. So that's what I'm going to be sending out. It's, uh, I think it's the LCK. The CRK, that's what's going to be the winner tonight. That's CRKT LCK. I had a bunch of those left over. So whoever wins tonight gets the LCK. Now, there's another rule. When you email me, make sure you email me coupon winner LCK. And that'll, that helps me out uh, so much. It really does. All right, so we'll do that. I'll remind you again in a second here. Okay, so, and here's the coupon. Wait till I write start, and then write, write your, um, your answer. So put your guess on which coupon I'm going to grab out of here. All right? I'm going to pull a coupon off screen. I'm going to slice it so you'll know I'm doing the truth, and then we'll see. All right. 
Hey, Mateo, good to see you. Doing the coupon challenge. One guess. Oh, that went fast. There's a lot of people in here. I didn't realize how many people were in here. All right, let me scroll back up here. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're done. Okay, now here we go. Eric, you got to keep an eye out here. Keep an eye out and see who wins. All right, so I'm just going to reach in here and grab one. And let's see, I don't want to cheat. That one feels lucky. No, that one feels double. That would get the doubled up one. Who said home security system? Did anybody say home security system? Oh, man, look at that plate. Oh, that's awesome. All right, I'm going to go through and see who said home security system. Home Depot, home repair, Frederick's Hollywood Charles. <laughs> oh, man. Burritos, oil change, heating and air, air conditioning, power tools, flooring, showers, leave gutter guards, parking spot, <laughs> lighting, flooring, gardening, internet, bathroom. Oh, Mateo. Mateo snuck in with the security system. He snuck into the game late, and he got security system. That's who I'm looking at. I think. Oh, wait, Ian Oliver. Wait. Dad, did Ian say it? Oh, Ian said it right at the beginning. Why did I miss that? Oh, Mateo said it too. You know what, Mateo? I'm going to send you a little something. You ain't going to get the LCK. Dad, gummit. But I send you something for getting you all excited. All right, so Ian, email me your address. Email me your address and LCK and put coupon giveaway. And now Mateo, email me your address and I'll send you something. I don't know what I'm going to send you, but I shouldn't have got you all excited. <laughs> I apologize for that. All right. So I think we got that complete. Ian, so both of you send me in your in the title email, just put coupon giveaway and Ian put LCK on there and that will help me out a lot and it helps me uh, stay organized and stuff. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Okay, I think that's it. I think we'll call the evening. I really appreciate y'all being here. I had a lot of fun and I always have a lot of fun talking with you guys. I appreciate it. If y'all have anything to uh, talk to me about after this, jimmy slash youtube at yahoo.com or hit me up on Facebook and we can talk there and I'll get right back to you. Instagram is like once in a while, you know, I'm kind of iffy, once a day kind of thing. But if you want to get with me, email me, Facebook me. All right. I think that's it. Y'all have a really great weekend. Be safe and thank you again. I'll talk to y'all later.